Uh, we've gone back and we looked at the evidence, and what I can tell you is we intend to come out with an announcement uh, by the end of this year. And so 2011 came and went, and sometime early in 2012, I sent an email to my contact at FDA. The response I got was, we'd love to respond. We sent our document to HHS for approval, and unfortunately, we don't have a response back yet. We sued FDA to compel them to respond to our petitions after waiting very patiently for uh, five, six years. And they did so. In January of 2015, they came out with a document that completely affirmed what FDA had found in 2009, which was that mercury fillings are completely safe. We, my team, uh, IAOMT, we were all deeply disappointed. And then we get this whistleblower document. It was a document that provided prohibitions on placing mercury fillings in tens of millions of people. What happened here? What happened? HHS came back and provided a political solution to a thorny scientific problem. HHS put the veto on this statement of policy that would have been published by FDA, but for HHS's political decision, not scientific, political decision, to not change the way the game was played. But don't be deceived, there are hundreds of peer-reviewed, published scientific studies by top authors that associate the mercury and fillings with systemic disease. And so, going forward, what are we going to do? We're going to go back to court and take this document that was issued way back in 2012 that states what FDA really thought about all this and ask the court to reinstate the 2012 document. That's our plan.